Hello beautiful friends, welcome to Cassia Naturals. If you're new on my channel, you're so welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And to my 89 subscribers, thank you so much dear friends, hearts to you for your love and your support. So now like we want to grow this channel, so you're only remaining with a few numbers like to reach 100 subscribers. Yes, so if you're new on my channel, click on that subscribe button and subscribe today because you wouldn't want to miss any good informative videos which we post on this channel like we post videos every day so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make your own like a lip gloss with good products that can moisturize your lips so like if you're having a challenge with your lips like they are broken you have like they are dry they don't look good you have tried so many many lip glosses and they are not working then make sure that you watch this video because uh we are going to make this you know lip gloss with all natural products which you can access at home it's just that i know it's open i didn't uh, close it nicely yes but it looks looks so 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 perfect yes so make sure that you watch we are going to use video. our vaseline our aloe vera oil yes. a clean bowl and hibiscus and also beetroot yes and so now we are getting our vaseline in a, and putting it in a clean bowl so vaseline is affordable easy to find option in most grocery stores and pharmacies and it's said to relieve dry skin heal wounds and even moisturize chapped lips so because those there are no oil glands in the lips the lips are very prone to dry out especially in cold dry climate climates with uh, a little moisture in the air so vaseline is known as occlusive which means it can uh, hold in moisture so if you use vaseline on your lips before they are dry and chapped you may be um, like save off dry lips so now we are adding in our hibiscus and beetroot powder like these are just uh, all natural colorants that um, can actually uh, help. They are actually a perfect natural colorant option. Yes, and uh, you know, as we earlier said that uh, Vaseline, uh, you know, it cannot uh, moisturize your face, I mean your lips, you know, on, it, on its own. You know after some time like your lips may get dry again so you have to make sure that you add in whatever oil so at this point we are adding in aloe vera oil so aloe vera oil as you may be aware is very ideal for chapped skin dry skin yes so like due to its um uh, chemical composition of aloe vera according to research like polysaccharides um um uh, good like in promoting uh hormones in aloe which stimulates your skin yes which helps to stimulate us uh, to moisturize your skin so these uh polysaccharides also bind moisture to your skin which is helpful when dealing with the chapped lips so you have to make sure that you blend it so that is how our lip gloss looks like it looks looks so 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 perfect and one thing you have to note is that um hibiscus and beetroot are, are not soluble in um they're insoluble in oils yes so they're only soluble in water yes so like um it won't be the color won't be so perfect so we are getting a glass uh bow or a glass container for our lip gloss like it's ready now So make sure that you know like uh, small bottles are difficult to fill it in to fill on so that is how it looks like it looks so 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 perfect yes i'm so happy and one thing you have to note is that you have to drink a lot of water for you to prevent uh, dry lips make sure that you hydrate 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 yes and make sure that you don't click your lips when they are drying it's you know it's tempting uh, to add moisture from the from your tongue but once the saliva dries up like it leaves your lips dry so now at this point we are getting our um, cotton pad you have to make sure that your lips are clean before applying your lip gloss and you have to make sure that you avoid uh, ingredients like 
uh, cinnamon, menthol, salic acid, which actually makes dry lips. So now we are just uh, cleansing our lips with just normal water. Yes. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can click on that subscribe button and subscribe today. And thank you so much to my 88 subscribers. Yes. So this helps us to like keep on publishing more informative videos and to grow our channel. I know that this is not your first time like watching my videos. So you can kindly subscribe. Yes, so that is how our lip gloss looks like. So, 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 so perfect. So you can make this at home. You can even skip the beetroot and the hibiscus colorant. So you have to make sure that you apply a generous amount to your lips. As you can see, like our lips look so, 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 so beautiful. And I love the color. Of course, it's not very pronounced, but as you can see, like the color is just okay. That's be beautiful, right? Yes. Comment in the section below if you're going to make this lip gloss. Or what products do you use to make your own at home? Yes, but one thing you have to note is that a Vaseline, I don't think it's natural. Yes, you can even use shea butter. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.